This time on Documentify TV. We're looking at a set of tracks in New Mexico that might be the simplest kind of machine, a hand-pulled transport frame, and it may be far older than anyone expected. At White Sands, researchers found human footprints, thousands of them, but mixed into the same surfaces are long drag marks, not random scratches, long directional traces that behave like something was pulled across soft mud. They classify the marks into three patterns. Type 1 was a single narrow groove, sometimes twisting or splitting, and it can run a long distance. Type 2 was a broader shallow runnel, more like a smear through wet sediment. But the third type is the big one, two parallel grooves spaced about 10 to 14 inches apart, running together for tens of yards. And the reason type 3 matters is the association with the footprints. Human tracks show up between the grooves or right beside them. And in some places, the grooves actually cut through footprints, meaning the step happened and then the drag happened immediately after on the same soft surface. So we're not guessing whether these are related. The surface records them as one event. The simplest explanation is a travois, a drag frame made from poles pulled by a person to move loads. Because if you drag one pole, you tend to get one main groove. If you drag a rigid frame with two contact points, you get two parallel lines. And this isn't just armchair pattern matching. Researchers built replica travois and dragged them across modern mudflats in the UK and in Maine. And the tracks they produce closely match the type 3 morphology. Could it be something else? Bird feeding marks tend to be short and messy. Geological cracks don't curve around like a path. And the giant beaver idea doesn't fit well here either. No regional evidence for prehistoric beaver in this context and tail drags aren't typically two clean parallel rails. Here's the catch. The technology claim rides on the age claim. The footprint layers were dated using radiocarbon on aquatic rupia seeds, plus radiocarbon on terrestrial conifer pollen, plus OSL dating on quartz grains. The proponent's argument is three different methods converging makes the age robust, but critics push back hard. They argue the aquatic seeds can be biased by a hard water effect. Old carbon in groundwater making samples look older. They argue pollen can be reworked, washed in from older deposits. And they argue OSL can read too old if grains weren't fully reset by sunlight or if samples sit below the track horizons. Some critics estimate a younger window, still pre-Clovis, but not necessarily last glacial maximum. To me, the strongest part of this is the physical pattern. Two consistent rails, human feet walking with it, and moments where the grooves cut the prints. Whether it's 23,000 years old or significantly younger, it still suggests something most of prehistory never preserves how people moved heavy loads. Next, we'll examine another North American case where the evidence challenged long-held archaeological expectations, right here on the screen. That's it for today's video, folks. See you next time, right here on Documentify TV.